All right, Human Skull, part one. All right, so this time I'm testing your knowledge to make sure you are paying attention because I only give you the image planes. Okay, if you want the image planes, they're on the lesson files uh, located in the show notes, and I need you to mount them in Blender. All right, so. Basically, yes, we're going to be making this skull. We're going to start out with using box modeling. And to begin, when we first put in a box, uh, notice because it's in textured mode that the box is very shaded. So we're going to be looking at um, the solid view and the wireframe view. Okay. And just like before, um, we're going to be going into the timeline, shrinking up the timeline quite a bit. So basically I have one or two frames and that way I can uh, toggle between the two. Okay. So wireframe for the first one. I'm going to right click here and insert keyframe. Then hit the arrow key, then go to solid. Right click, insert keyframe. So now I can toggle back and forth between wireframe and solid. I'm going to try to make it as big as possible on your timeline. This is often kind of a pain because, yeah, there we go. Someone like that. Setup is everything. Okay. So to begin, we need some kind of modifier in here to smooth this out. So I'm gonna be using my faithful friend, multi-res and hit subdivide. And then I'm just going to apply that. I need that change forever and always. Okay, I'm going to just center this up. And we're going to keep this skull in two parts, just like a normal skull would be. Go to edit mode. Flatten that out, W on the keyboard. So I'm using these landmarks here, and this is how I really develop characters too, is the fact that uh, the poly structure has these landmarks that you can be using as a, a reference. Just remember, when you get done making this skull, that these landmarks stand true. Uh, if you have this line right in the middle of your eyes, okay, then you're looking at the the spacing between here, you know. Keep that spacing in mind. You can use that spacing as landmarks for a character without using um, the actual image plane itself. Okay, control R and insert an edge loop here. Then I'm going to grab these two bottom faces. Control E. Scoot those down. Put them right above the dental work here. Now we're going to be keeping this a whole part, uh, 
but really I want to rough out the form quite a bit before I worry about detail like his teeth goes. Keeping that in the center of the eye. Okay, now this is going to be extremely hard for you to kind of see as far as, you know, um, which vertices I'm kind of moving around. Just just remember that, you know, you're just kind of shaping it to the, the concept here. Okay, so I have something like this right now. I'm going to stay away from the idea of putting any kind of uh, serious line in here. Well, actually, no, let me put one more in just to get it sized up. Just like that. I'm going to switch back to wireframe. All right, now I need some topology in here for the eyes. Uh, before I do that, however, I, I like to put a median line on the character that does not consist of this. I, I need a median line that actually separates it quite well. Um, so, control R. Put a median line right in here. Control R. I'll be mirroring over the character here in a second. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Okay, I'm gonna grab this face, this face. I'm gonna put a natural edge loop in here. Same with the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to just work on detail on the on the first side here, on the right hand side, on positive X. To get back to wireframe here, hold on, there we go. So here I'm just manually moving these points around. Keeping that in the center of the eye. I said, really hard for you guys to see what I'm doing here. I was debating on pan whether or not I wanted to do this tutorial only because of the simple fact that there's no transparency type of material within Blender uh, to give me the idea of halfway between wireframe and solid, uh, making it easier for you guys to see. So, again, this is just an edge loop in that area, and then I'm just matching up the topology around the eyes. So that's what I got so far. And sometimes I can hand scooch some of these away and I'll match them up later. Okay, there we go. Now, 
Let's take and de half the character and delete it out. Okay. And then go in here. Do a mirror modifier. Have to be in object mode to do that. And this is where I start putting on wireframe. Okay. Okay, so this is what I have so far, and in the next video I continue.